Hi, it's Mitz from My Life Mitz. Thank you so much for stopping by. I want to do a kind of a mashup video. I want to unbox the March stationery selection box. Uh, we still have several in stock, and I haven't done an unboxing in a very, very long time, so I wanted to do that and then kind of share with you the uh, process. I guess somebody requested to do a journal with me session in the Hobonichi weeks, and so I thought I would. Uh, do a, a really simple layout in the Hobonichi Weeks. The reason why I have this here I will explain later. So I'm going to timestamp everything down below if you want to just skip past the uh, unboxing of the March box. I will timestamp it down below. I do want to share with you a fun little um, hack or I guess, yeah, I guess you can say that a, a subscriber, a very, very kind subscriber emailed me and she sent me this really interesting hack and I thought, oh my gosh, that is so cool and neat. Um, it's regarding the platinum desk pen and a platinum preppy. So let's get right into it. So let's get right into it. Here is the March box. The information sheet, as always, is here. I've changed things up for April, May, and possibly moving forward. I just kind of wanted to change things up a bit, uh, but here it is. So I'm just going to go through this list. So the first is this lucky envelope, or like a congratulatory envelope. Uh, it is designed. It is designed by uh, Akio, and the kanji here says "Iwai Mich." which means <laughs> celebration or congratulations. It's a nice size. Usually we use these kind of envelopes um, for little like m monetary gifts. Uh, but yes, so it's a nice little pouch and there's uh, three in there. Next is the washi tape. Uh, before I forget, I will mention down below the blog post as well as several videos that have been posted by Skylar Hand and James. And I think James or Connie also has, I know Connie has a blog post, uh, but I believe they both have like Instagram stories where they've unboxed everything. So I will leave that down below if you wanted to take a look uh, at everything, un like everything opened. Uh, but this is from Furukawa and it has like really cute stamps. And I like how Connie used these little stamps uh, for decorations in her little Nolte planner. So I think I might use that for this one upcoming. Next here is a beautiful dark red color. It says o do u gu bukuro means bukuro or fukuro means bag and that means tool and so it's kind of like a cute little tool bag uh, but it's I just thought it would be nice. I, I always like pouches. I like to use pouches a lot not just for stationery but for just daily use. Um, so yes, so I thought it would be nice to include that and I really liked this uh, little bird as well. Usually for like elementary school, I don't know about middle school or high school here, but in Japan they have these little marks on the bottom where you have to write what grade you are in and which class in that grade. So um, it just kind of mimics that and I think it's a really cute pouch. So next is Kokuyo. Kokuyo Glue and Kokuyo has is a really big stationery brand. They have several different types of this glue. I chose the orange one and Skylar has a video like I mentioned and she's unpacked it and uh, shared with you how to use it. And this one is the one where it says Shiwanaku Kirei so it's uh, wrinkle free and so once you apply it it shouldn't uh, have that many wrinkles, especially I guess if you are journaling in like thinner paper, like Hobonichi Tomoe River paper, it might be very, very useful for that. Next is the memo, uh, memo pad from Kyowa, and it's so neat because it has four different designs. There, this is like a test, and then this one here on the back is kind of like a supermarket advertisement. And I just thought it was really, really neat for uh, collaging and adding layers. I think I might actually use maybe, um, let's see, I'll just keep this here for now. Next is the Platinum Desk Pen. I'm going to keep this off to the side because I want to show you the hack later on. And then I'll move on to the last bit here. The next item here are the Raymay scissors. And you can see here they won the Good Design Award back in 2015. And I just really like the compact 
um, size of it. You can see that's the size with my hand. It's with the J.A. Henkel's International, which is a very, very well-known like home goods uh, company. I think they've it's they have a really rich history and a really sweet subscriber sent me a story about her scissors and how she has um, scissors from this company as well I just really really appreciate reading your stories about um, you know not just stationary items but things that have this like connection um, but I just really thought um, yeah I really liked the design it's not like your typical it's not your typical scissors I just thought it would be interesting to include something different and the fact that it has these nice uh, grips actually let me just quickly take it out so that I can show you so it has these really nice like rubber rubberized grips here I'm not sure if you can hear that but it's nice and slender too it's a really neat design and if it's very very um, satis satisfying <laughs> movement so those are the scissors and that's it uh, for March's box. Like I said, we still have some in stock and um, I think there's currently a sale right now. Um, so yeah, I will leave that linked down below. So before I move on to uh, journaling in the weeks, I wanted to share with you the fun little hack that the subscriber sent, with me, sent me. She was telling me how she enjoyed the platinum desk pen, but she didn't like the long the long handle here and I know um, some people have like sawed it off like actually cut it off uh, but uh, she showed me that if you have a platinum preppy and this is one from a while ago that we had in our box as well she said that you can interchange them so this, this is just brand new the cartridge is still sitting in here but let's pretend the cartridge is in there you can still interchange the body <laughs> and that it looks really really neat I suppose actually I'm not sure if this would oh yeah it does fit so you could have it like this if you want if that bothers you like this long handle bothers you you can have it like this or you can have it this is really neat too eh? oh that's really neat you can have it like this so you'll see like peak peaking gold through here and here that's so neat, eh? So if this bothers you, this long <laughs> handle, you can definitely interchange it uh, with your platinum. Oh, and that fits too. <laughs> you can definitely change it with your platinum preppy body that you might have. Um, and I think I thought that was so neat. She's so creative. Uh, but so there it is. I just wanted to quickly share with you just in case that also bothers you you can interchange it with your platinum preppy body as well as the cap so I'm just gonna put this back so that I don't um, lose the pieces because I want to do a journal with me session with you I will leave the um, blog post and video for Connie as well because she does a test with the platinum desk pen because it does have uh, carbon ink in there. She was testing about the water com com compatibility. <laughs> so I will leave that link, of course, down below. So quickly, let's do a journal with me session in the weeks. The reason why I brought out the regular size traveler's notebook is because I I understand the struggle with the weeks um, with like the layout. I feel like it's very small, but if you kind of step back a bit. Uh, I was like thinking of how I could um, introduce this topic and then I thought well it's very very similar to the regular sized traveler's notebook it's very narrow it's not so much like a square shape um, it's just kind of like a scaled down version of the Hobonichi or sorry this the Hobonichi weeks is a scaled down version of the regular sized traveler's notebook so if I hope that kind of helps you in a way. Um, I really like this insert by Skylar Hand. She's already done the pre-decorating. So if you take her example, um, she does a lot of collaging and things on the corners and then on the edges. Sorry, I just added this because I had the uh, washi tape 
there but so you can see if that helps all you have to do let me find a blank page here so you would do you know similar thing you can add some washi tape and collage your bits here um, and then if you want to just write snippets of your day you can do that or just disregard these days if the days are throwing you off just cover them with washi tape um, you just can cover them with stickers so if you check take a look at her other pages you can see that she's decorated the edges so even here um, for example you can definitely cover it up with washi or like a piece of paper and just add some collage elements here and here and just journal that way let's take a look at the next page here yeah same thing just collage here and here and then kind of leave this space open so if you're stuck with the layout in the Hobonichi weeks perhaps you can kind of step back and think oh well you know I've worked in a traveler's notebook regular size and I can do the same thing <laughs> Well, you can do the same thing with any notebook, to be honest with you, but if this layout is kind of throwing you off, just disregard the numbers here. You can look at it as a square if you want, um, not like two separate pages. If you want to just take a look at it as a full square, that's doable as well. If you go on Google, there is a whole bunch of like layouts that you can look at, scrapbooking layouts, uh, planning layouts that you can use as inspiration um, but so let's quickly <laughs> do a bit of decorating here just so that I can show you what I would uh, do I took out some of these vintage uh, stickers this one is by Oh Lovely Cues I really like the clear uh, stickers and then this one is Job's Journal so I'm gonna quickly uh, let's take these stickers here so I'm gonna just add some he bits here and here and just do a bit of collaging just so that I can show you and it's hard I was the reason why I was struggling is because I use this Hobonichi Weeks as a very personal journal for my kids and so I wanted to write 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 but then I thought oh wait I have to wait uh, to film the video and so I was uh, kind of struggling a bit um, I wanted to film this a while back because this request uh, was sent to me a while back but at the same time I just felt like writing a lot um, these past couple of weeks have been very eventful for my son because he started a new school and so sorry for the delay <laughs> So if you want to cover this up, let's cover it up so that I can show you what I mean. Oh, this is so pretty. The clear stickers from Maria. I really like the pop of red, so I thought I would put it here. I tend to do like threes, so um, like a triangle. Maybe I would put something here and something here. You could also put something in, like if I were to just look at the page, I also would put something in the middle and possibly down below. Uh, but do what's most comfortable for you and play around with what you enjoy. Like I, d I don't want you to feel pressure uh, to do something exactly the same. <laughs> This is from uh, Job's journal. Oh, this is so pretty. So that's the Hobonichi Weeks. I think just as a recap, maybe just cover the dates. Um, look at it as like a scrapbooking spread or like a planning spread. Uh, like I said, there's a whole bunch of resources available online on Google and I'm sure on Pinterest there's, there must be a whole bunch. Um, so if you're not sure about layout just follow that and do what works for you if this layout doesn't work then try something else um, and hopefully <laughs> you learn something uh, from this video if you have any questions please feel free to let me know in the comments i try my best to answer them in a timely manner but uh, if you need a response um, sooner please feel free to email me as well thank you so much for watching i really appreciate you for being here today 
I will see you soon. Bye-bye.